So down, whatever, 10 feet, mm -hmm. when when you are changing the polarity of the clay, what happens to the water? I mean, water is constantly moving, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got a tractor or skid steer. you got four to five rods. Skid steer is four, tractor is five. And you're pushing those rods down. They've got a 360 pattern. So it's got eight holes spiraled around 360, and you're pushing those rods down. And it's, pu it's pushing 80 to 90 gallons a minute at a low PSI. So we're not shooting a 1500 PSI. It's about 200, 250 tops would be 300. So you're not fracking. You're just, what that soil will do is just start sucking in that water. Roger. You know, and then that's where you get your heave. That's what you want it to do. So once you've got it to its potential vertical rise, which is usually one pass. When you usually do it in one pass, if it's 105 out, you know, and it's been baking in the Texas sun for, you know, a couple of months, then you may have to do two water passes because it's so dry. But once we get that process done, which is usually a day, a day and a half, then we come back with water and chemical and we're putting that dilution ratio in the ground because it's already pre-swelled and we're getting that that mixture, that stabilizer in between those clay platelets to take that negative charge out of the clay. That's the permanent thing that we do. You know, that's the difference between soil, um, a water injection, you know, and um, moisture conditioning. They're just putting water in the ground and it does change the, the PVR. And a lot of times they'll put a membrane on top of it that's 18 inches down the ground. But you know, if that sits for a year or two years, um, it goes back to its natural state. Right. Chemical won't allow that because we're changing the polarity of the clay. We're modifying the soil. So what I'm hearing you say is that uh, another type of soil stabilization is just injecting water. In yes. There to, you're forcing the clay to expand. Take water in, yes. Yeah, to its maximum. To its maximum, um, yeah. and then, But then what you're also saying is that what you're doing differently is the chemical is actually making that permanent because after the clay is expanded, it's not going to take in any more water, right? Right, right. Okay. Because you, it's already reached its liquid limit, so to speak. You know, so you you swelled it up and then the chemical goes into the lattice or clay platelets, takes that negative charge out. So what you're doing is you're taking the heavy bond of water that goes in between those clay platelets, right? That's where you get your heave. And then when it dries out, it goes back down. Right. We're just stopping it from doing that. We're making it act like a sand. 